Guys, in this video, you will see how you can synchronize ClickUp and Freshdesk application together automatically. So guys, this is one of the most powerful automations that we have. And if you want to boost your productivity, this is a must have. Here we are connecting two productivity tools together. One is ClickUp and other is Freshdesk. So ClickUp is a collaboration tool and Freshdesk is a customer support application. So guys, if you have created a task and you have created a corresponding ticket of that task in Freshdesk and you want that if you make any change or any update in the task, the Freshdesk ticket should be updated also. So here is the automation for you. And here as in when you are going to update the ClickUp task, the Freshdesk ticket will be updated automatically without any manual intervention. So it will improve your productivity and gives you an edge over your competitors. So guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding. Let's begin. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up your workflow of automation. And here you can give a name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as synchronize click up with fresh desk. All right, so after giving this name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page will load up like this. And here on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we are going to build our automation. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and action would be the consequence, would be a automated consequence or the response of the trigger, right? So trigger in our use case, guys, the trigger is going to act when we are going to update any task in ClickUp. Okay, so ClickUp will be our trigger application. So you have to search for ClickUp here. Okay, then you have to choose the trigger event as task updated. Here we have task updated option, select this. Then you have to click on connect to make a connection with ClickUp so that we can uh, make this workflow run whenever we update the task. Okay, so from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the API key of ClickUp and you will find this key uh, in the profile icon. You can read the instructions written here and let's just follow it. Let me show you my ClickUp account. So this is my ClickUp and here on the left hand side panel on the bottom side you will find this profile icon. From here you have to click on apps and under apps, you will find this API token. So you just have to copy it and paste it here. And then click on save and you will be connected with click up like this. Then it will ask for the work, workspace name. So you can select the workspace name. And after that, click on save and send test request button. And it will start waiting for the connections response that you have created. Here you can see it started waiting for the response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now we are going to manually and deliberately update any task in ClickUp and the data of that update will be captured here in this response section and that will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further. Okay. So I'm going to my ClickUp account again. Okay. And from here, let me update any task that I have. So let's, uh, you can see I have this new task. Uh, sorry, I have this test task in this new integrations uh, space. Let me show you that. Here you can see in this new integration space, I have this test task and the status is in progress. Okay. And here you can see guys, I want to, I want your attention here that I have added a tag here. And in this tag, you can see I have written five. Okay, number five, I have tagged this task as number five. Why? I'll tell you later. Be uh, okay, let me tell you here only. So I have added this uh, tag here as number five. 
because in fresh desk we have tickets here and every ticket has a number you can see number three number four number five okay so i have created a task here in clickup and correspondingly i have created a ticket in fresh desk about the same task let's say this is the same ticket uh, corresponding of this task okay this is the test task tagged as number five and this is a ticket named as mailchimp and the number is five here okay so you must have this synchronization also right so that we can properly create our automation okay now guys i am going to deliberately change the status of this task so right now it is under progress in progress and let me change the status to complete and as i'm going to change the status the data will be captured here in our workflow let me show you i'm clicking on complete here right you can see the status has got changed and the test task is under complete section okay it got completed let us check here if we got the data captured and here you can see we got the data captured here of the same task okay so here you can see the before status was in progress the after status is complete but here it is not showing uh, the name of the task or any other details okay it is showing us the task id okay so what i'm going to do now and here you can see it will show you the tag as well okay so it is not showing the tag as well right so what we are going to do now to fetch the tag details and the task name and other things we are going to use this action step and here we are going to connect with ClickUp again. So search for ClickUp one more time and here we are going to use an action event which is called search task or find task. Let me show you that. Okay so actually it is find task by task id okay so we have this option find task by task id okay select this then click on connect from here select and new connection and then it, you can see it is asking for the api token again so guys uh, every connection that you make here is saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again with the same application in a different workflow or in the same workflow you can use your saved connections as we have already connected with clickup now I can use my safe connection for that you just have to select this existing connection option and here it will show you the list of existing connections that you have. So from here you can choose existing connections and then click on save one more time and you will be connected again. Okay, so we are connected again. So no need to fill the API key every time you make the connection, right? And here it is asking for the task ID. So here you can see in this previous step we got this task ID in the response. So I'm going to map this task ID label here in this field. For that, you just have to click here and the previous step or the trigger will appear in the dropdown. And when you click on it, you will find this task ID, just map it. Then click on save and send test request button and it, which it will fetch the details of the task. Here you can see guys, now we got the task name as test task. Previously, it was not there, okay? And when you scroll down, you will find the current status. And here when you scroll down, you will find uh, the tag details. Also, you can see the tag name is showing number five. Okay. Now guys, uh, we want to update uh, this thing in fresh desk also for that. Just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here. We are going to connect with fresh desk. Okay. Here it is selected. <laughs> Then you have to select that uh, action event here as update the ticket. Here you can see update a ticket option is here. Then click on connect. From here select a new connection. And then it will, uh, it will ask for the API key, the password of your Freshdesk account and the Freshdesk subdomain. So let me show you that. So you can see here in the profile, uh, sorry, in the top URL of my uh, Freshdesk, this is the URL. Let me just copy this and let me paste it here. Okay, so it is showing papcon.freshdesk.com. So if this is the URL, the subdomain is papcon, this word. You can read in the instructions. So you just follow the instructions and remove the extra things like this. This is our subdomain. Now to find the API key, uh, you will find this profile icon here. Click on it. And from here, go to profile settings. Under profile settings, you will find this view API key button. Click on it. 
and here you will find okay i am not a robot this is the key just copy this key paste it here like this and here you have to enter your accounts password then click on save and you will be connected okay right now i'm going to use my saved connection so i'm using my saved connection okay and here it will ask for the ticket right so what we are going to do here so guys here whenever we are going to create a task in ClickUp, we are going to manually create a ticket in fresh desk also to make this integration happen okay but when this automation is going to run for updating purpose we want that this ticket should be selected automatically corresponding to the task we have in ClickUp. For that, we are going to map the ticket's name here. We are not going to manually select the ticket. We are going to map the ticket from the previous steps. So for that, you have to toggle this button to on. Toggle this map button to on. And here you can see when you toggle this on, it starts asking for the numbers related to the tickets. That's why we have added a number as a tag inside the inside the task and click up and here we got the tag number and now we can place this tag number as the ticket ID here. Okay, that's why I have I have placed this number as the tag of the task inside click up. Okay, now I understand right now let me sorry now let me map this tag label here in this step. So just click here, remove this and from this last second step, map the tag number. Here it is selected. Okay. And uh, now I am going to change the status. You can change the priority as, as, uh, as well. I do not want to change it. I am just going to change the status from open to closed because we have changed the status in the click up as completed okay so i'm closing this ticket now so every time we are going to complete the task in click up the tickets will be closed in fresh desk automatically okay that's what we are doing here right now you can check your connection with uh, fresh desk you can see where are my tickets let me open the tickets these are the tickets and this ticket MailChimp number 5 is open right now. Let us check our connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request here and the status should be changed in fresh desk. Okay. This is the response we have received. Let me show you the fresh desk. Okay. Here you can see there is an update and here you can see the MailChimp task, sorry, ticket here is now closed. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow. After that, it is going to run automatically whenever you are going to update any task and click up the corresponding ticket in fresh desk will be closed. Okay. And you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.